Hey guys, it's Dean from the Bush Company. Yeah? Now, on today's Fit Out Friday, we've got a really interesting vehicle. It must be an ex Telstra or telecommunications vehicle. It's got a really large steel tray on the box and all these additional workman's boxes. Um, going through it, it's a three litre patrol. And this is our client's, you know, off the beaten track vehicle, take it anywhere, maybe leave a caravan behind and actually take this vehicle with the rooftop tent out into the sticks. Now what we've got in the front of the vehicle is an ALB bull bar, um, great hella spotlights up the front, ample light over there, also a GME antenna for that two-way radio. Um, on the side, a really good safari snorkel, um, just you know to keep the air nice and clean air out of the dust and also through those water crossings, just stopping water from getting into the engine. Now coming to the rear, the customer is also sporting a full electrical 12 volt system. This is done with a portable battery pack. Um, and it's running a lead crystal battery in there, really good quality batteries on a full DC DC charging unit. Um, on the side of the fridge and in the open is Snowmaster Expedition fridge. Now that's a really good neat feature out there. It's also lockable so you know if you don't want your beers to get stolen just put a padlock on the fridge. We had the privilege on this full-on build basically to add in our rooftop tents. Our clamshell rooftop tent as many of you know it. Um, that's it up on the top there and we mounted it in the position where it is right now because the customer wanted to basically climb into the rear of the tent by stepping up on the tailgate and not using the ladder. We think it looks pretty cool. It fits in the middle of the boxes. Additional on the tent, what we fitted are these awning brackets. So no matter if you want a straight pull out retractable awning or you're gonna go with the 270 degree gull wing style awning, that can always be added on later. Those brackets are going to allow the awnings just to clear our gas struts and lift it. Alright, let's have a look at this neat setup, how we get in this vehicle. So basically, you've got the two standard latches. And what I find really, really awesome on this, is that it's actually got the step, which it, you know, came with super handy step. So the concept is, pretty simple, two grab rails, get up on the top of the vehicle, over here, pop your rooftop in. And by stepping onto a box or step, you can simply get into bed easy in and out. Now, another thing that we've added on from the Bush Company are these raised Z brackets. Now, what the Z brackets do, they allow us to lift the tent above anything. So whether you've got a canopy or a roof rack, we can fit the tent on a raised position and attach our stainless steel table underneath. So with a pin, pull it out and out slides your full on table. That comes out like so. Two great legs. There you go. Full stainless steel work surface that fits and slides underneath the tent or underneath the roof rack, for example. And these are really great. Food grade stainless, you can fillet fish straight on them, cut up meat if you go hunting, or just prepare general food, even put your gas cooker on it. So for more information on any of the products from the Bush Company, guys, go to www.thebushcompany.com.au. Don't forget to go bush, catch you later.